Okay, folks, I know some of you guys are looking at this video right now. When you saw that thumbnail, you said, damn, them look good, right? Listen, I'm doing ribs yet again. Reason being, I get so many people that ask me like, AB, show me how you do your ribs. A lot of people don't go back on these channels, any of your favorite uh, YouTubers. All you guys got to do is go there and look up at the top. And then when you look for that search bar, you can search any of your favorite, you know, YouTuber. You can see what videos they've done and if they have something to play or not. So I'm getting ready to do, you know, ribs, right? I'm going to do these low and slow. I'm going to do them on my Rectech grill. So what I'm going to do is, oh, if you guys was following me, you know what I mean? If you guys are following my channel, Real Life with AB, I'll show you where I bought these from. If you look right there, it say Kirkland, so everybody knows that's Costco, right? So we just take the Costco brand. And you can't beat this, folks. Listen to this, three slabs already trimmed down. You know what I mean? I paid $32. That's like saying you pay $10 a slab that's already got the work done to it. So listen, I put them in this pan. I took them in the inside. I like to run water on them just to get them a little bit on the clean side. You know, wash off any of the blood. I take some more paper towels and I kind of like just, you know, pat them dry. So right here, you see that I got three slabs, right? Now, not a whole lot of ingredients. You guys can look on my website. I'll put everything that I use in this video in there, but this is going to be super simple, folks. And when I tell you super simple, you know what I mean? I'm going to try to explain this to, to the best of my ability, right? So now what we're going to do is we're going to start right here and I'm going to explain to you. This right here is a St. Louis style cut rib, right? It doesn't have the brisket bone on there or nothing, nothing like that. This has already been trimmed. I want to say thank you to Costco because listen, they offer a great price if you guys got them like that. Like I said, like they $10. You can't beat that. Now, let me go ahead and explain this part to you. Let's look at this part right here. This is the thicker part, the meatier part, right? I'm going to do it the way you guys are going to do it for like the backyard griller or whatever. You know what I mean? Uh, so they already been cut. You see this piece right here? This right here will burn and dry out. Nobody's going to use it. Right? So I just cut that off and put that right there. Right? I like to cut and keep everything uniform. Like this way, I can feel. So if I took it here and I just cut it down like this. Right? Now we're getting them to be a nice rectangle shape. Right? This on the end, that's small, where you can barely feel any bone down here, like there's a bone right here. It's very, very small. Look, that's it right there. Right, I like to count in one, two, one, two, three, four. I like to come in right here and then just take it and then cut it. This is thin. I take these and when I got enough of that, I go ahead and cue these up, you know, separately with all the other thin meat. The reason I'm telling you that, because listen, Look at it when it's thin like that. You guys got to be able to see that. It will dry out and be hard and tough. And this will be dry and the rest of it. Because you see it's bigger and thicker over here. So we're going to have to have that go. Right? So just looking at this here. I want to get this all, you know, right. Right? All right. So now you guys can see I got all three of them done. Right? membranes pulled off got them cut down a little pro tip if you want your ribs to be uniform i put them on the grill like this you know with the real with the bone side down but i put them on like this and i compact them and keep them square because if you put them on like this that's the way they're gonna cook and that's why your, your ribs look you know like, you know in a different shape right so i'm gonna turn this over so you guys can just see i didn't spend a whole lot of time trying to get rid of this i can you know what i mean uh there i go look that's what I'm talking about. It's always something to trim, folks. So listen, just find something you can live with, you know, and then get them ready. Now, I'm getting ready to go ahead and season, right? I say it that way because a lot of you guys are cooks, but I'm going to apply the rub, right? So you guys see that I have some, check it out. I got some yellow mustard. You guys can use W sauce. You can use whatever you want. The binder is here just so that it will go ahead and adhere. Now, I got another little trick too. We can do something called a slather. You know what I mean? Where we use pickle juice and mustard. That's gonna be for another video. You know what I mean? But you can go ahead and mix some of that up and make that get down, right? Uh, the pickle juice does something, you know what I mean? A little bit to the ribs. But this is what I'm getting ready to do. So I'm gonna go ahead, open this up right now. I'm gonna be using this hand and I'm gonna be, this is gonna be like my dry hand, right? So I just put a little bit. You don't need a whole lot. And I mean, this will be my wet, right? So I'll just apply it like this. You want to get it all over. You know what I mean? You don't need a whole lot. You just need it for it to be tacky, right? And then now we all use the rub of our choice, right? For me, I love using my barbecue rub. Let me go ahead and put this out here like that. 
that's gonna be the tool of choice for myself great flavor you guys try this let me know you know what you think right so I have it let's see let me go ahead and put this down so now I want you to see how I put it in here how I apply it right what I want to do is I want to make sure I coat my ribs right this is the flavor right so look here we go you see that right there right that's what you want to have a nice even coat now take this and I just pat it now what about this part over here right we want to get some flavor in there too right so I pull these up like this and just apply some all the way down all right so that's what it should look like there's the back I have a pan I just set them right here right we let them just sit there and, and do its thing, right? Now, we do the same thing for the rest of them. Pellet grill, set my temperature. I'm at 275, we are gonna do them at 275. If I had more time, I like to use 250 and just take them low and you know, slow like that. So we are gonna bump them up just a little bit more. I don't worry about getting back to my temp, why? Because of, this is the pellet grill, everything is gonna be monitored. Now, before I open this, I just wanna let you know, I set mine like this. And then I check on them in about an hour just to see how they are. And then I rotate. I'll take the one on the far end, move that down here, and vice versa. Got it? So here we go. Right? But don't forget, I told you guys, it's really about how you put them on here, how you want them to cook. So I kind of like compress them like that. And there we go. Okay, folks, look, it is extremely hot out here. So listen, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna come back, take a look at them in an hour. You know, I know I said that already, but I just like to stress them because I want these to be pretty, right? So, one hour, I'll show you guys what they look like, how I rearrange them, and then we move on to the next. If you look right here, we got a spritz bottle. Now the reason you see it leaking right now is because I put a little bit of, I think it's Dr. Pepper in here, right? And then when you use a glass spray bottle, which is no bueno, I'm gonna tell you guys, listen, it doesn't allow it to expand like that, so it actually pushes it out through there. So let's go ahead and take a look at it just to see, does it even need it? Right, so here we go. Look at that right there. That's cool. I like to see it doing this, but what I want to see is the fact that I can touch it. I don't see none of my rub. It's starting to like set up on a, on a bark, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and move it. Actually, I'm gonna come back and look at this in about another. I'm gonna leave this alone but I can see it starting to get just a little bit on the dry side, right? So, this is Dr. Pepper. I put a little dash of our W sauce, you know what I mean, a little water to dilute it, and now I'm gonna go ahead and spray it. Right, you don't want it to pool on top, you just want to keep it a little moist. I'm looking at it over here, and it's looking good over here on this side. Right, so, you don't want to put too much on there. Remember, you do not want it to pool up on here. If you get a pool of something, just lift them up, and let them drain but this is it right here i'm not gonna do nothing else i'm gonna come back and look at these in about since we did an hour and 45 i mean an hour and 15 minutes i'm gonna come back in another hour just to see where i'm at real simple folks and since i got this glass you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna release this a little bit and let it just go ahead and continue to you know breathe on the inside now when it comes to spritzing you guys can use apple cider vinegar no excuse me you can use apple juice apple cider just anything like that you just want to spray it it's really about the moisture and making sure that it doesn't dry out right so i'll see you guys in maybe one more hour okay so listen it's been about two hours and about 25 minutes right so i want you guys to come on and take a look at it look at that right there i can see drippings off of there you remember i told you about the tnc i kind of like burns on there that's why you try to like want to cut it you know what i mean uh, so now i'm gonna look at this like this just see where we at with the bean so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take this one, put it over here, but I'm gonna turn it. So I'm gonna do it like this. Take this one. No, we're gonna take this one, turn it over here like that. And we're gonna take this one and turn it like this. I can feel how they feel a little rigid to me, and I can say they need to go a little longer. So let me go ahead and clean my hands. I'm gonna grab my spray bottle, but if you pay attention right there, look, when I take my finger and I go like this, look, nothing's coming off. That's cool. Right now we want to get them a little bit on the moist side. Right, and we're going to go for the remainder. I'm going to say it's probably going to take about another hour. That's one thing about ribs, it depends on the thickness. 
and all of that to decide how long it's going to take, right? At 275, these will probably take, I don't know, the way it's cooking, I'm going to say it's probably going to take about five hours total, right? Remember, we don't want no pooling. We just want to get a little moisture on there. I'm going to hurry up and close this. Right, let's get it back here. But you look at that right there, them some nice looking ribs right there, folks. Okay, so look, we done went about three hours and 15 or 20 minutes, more closer to, this, we closer to three hours and 20 minutes, right? But this is what I wanna show you. Look over here. Listen, I know that they gonna, they gonna be ready, but I'm gonna show you how you guys can check yours. Listen, I got six sheets of foil. I'm gonna show you what I do with that, even before I open that, but you're gonna need some tongs, right? Now, another one of the ingredients is we gotta have butter, right? I like to use that uh, that parquet spray. You know what I mean? It's like in a, uh, a blue bottle, got a yellow top. I like to use that, but when I don't have it, you know what I mean? I go ahead and just use regular salted butter. And then you're gonna wanna have some brown sugar. That's it right there, right? That little teddy bear you see right there, I soak that in the water. That keeps my brown sugar from getting all dried out. I need to order about five or six of those because I think each one of these should have two of them in. Now, I got light brown, dark brown, yada, yada. Now, let me go ahead and put these on. All right, so look at what I'm finna do, folks. I'm just finna take one of these. Let's see, let me do it this way. Cause I'm right-handed, you know? We'll just cut these down like this. You see, got them cut down. I line them out just like this. Now I'm gonna take the top off of my, you know, my brown sugar. Now I'm gonna take some brown sugar like this. See that right there? Look, it's still nice and moist, look at that. And what we gonna do is we just gonna put a little bit like this. Now I make these, I call these Cali style, you know what I mean? Uh, Cause you know, I like the little sweet, you know what I mean? We can do them with this, then we can, after we get them nice and tender, this is the tenderizing portion right here. You know what I mean? So we just add this just like this, right? Now we gonna come over here to the grill, right? Now this process right here, where I like to use aluminum, you know what I mean? Because listen, I got some Dr. Pepper. I know you guys seen Dr. Pepper. I'm gonna be honest with you, it's any. I don't care if it's Coke, Sprite, whatever it is, it's really just the act of the steaming that penetrates the meat and tenderizes it and get it nice and soft, you know what I mean? So, come on back over here. I'm gonna open this up. Remember, this is how we looking at it now. We probably like it about three hours, in that three and a half hours, right? Look at that right here. Now notice that color on there. That color come from this rub right here, folks. I'm gonna bring that and show it to you one more time. This is my rub. Look at that. You wanna turn this out looking just like this in your backyard. I can tell you, I can do 20, 30, 40, 60, 80 slabs. I got this, I have about 50 pound, uh, actually I got it in five gallon, you know, buckets. You know what I mean? This is what I do when I mass produce it. Now, what I wanna show you guys, how can you tell if they are ready, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and grab these like this and I'm gonna give it a bend. When I see it try to bend right there, I just grab it about halfway and it has a little bend like that. That tell me they are ready. You know what I mean? Let's check this one. This one I'm gonna just leave in here because I'm gonna start with that one right now. And this right here. This is good for me. We wanna have some integrity. I don't want no mushy, uh, what, I, what I'm trying to say is I don't wanna have no mushy ribs, right? So, I'm gonna go ahead and get my spritz bottle. I'm gonna go ahead and just spritz again. Just looking at the top. See how it kinda like pools right there? I got my glove, don't forget I got cotton underneath this, right? See that right there, look. We take it. That's what I mean, when it pulls up, we just get rid of it. So I don't want to spray no more right there. But you see this piece right here? I just want to spray, keep it nice and moist. Look at the, oh yeah. This is him right here. Now I see I got a little bit of, I got a pool right here, so I'm gonna pull this one. This way, get that off. Now look at it, folks. Now, I'm gonna take this one. Now follow me over here to the foil. We're gonna take it and I'm gonna bring it. Ah, I'll do it this way so you guys can see. You want this to be just like how I got it, just the same width, right? Now you just take these. I know some of y'all are like, damn, I might've been doing it wrong this whole time. Let me close this top. So look at that, folks. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit of this brown sugar. We're just gonna put some on this side. You're gonna want to suck on these bones, pause. You're gonna want to do whatever you want to do to get all of this flavor in the inside of here. Now, let's address the part about the soda, right? Remember, it's really just like the liquid. I'm telling you, if you got apple juice, that works too. It's just the processing of steaming, right? So, I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. 
Now, I'm gonna build this up like this, just your first layer. Six ribs, I like to do it twice, right? So, I mean, excuse me, three ribs. I like to have six sheets, right? So, we're gonna do it like this. I'm gonna hold that up, and look, I'm gonna pour it from this end. I just want you to see this with the brown sugar. That's it, and we double layer it. You know why? Because we don't want to have no issues, you know, with nothing poking through, right? So, we do it like this. Now you guys know why we use the double. No poke throughs, we don't want to have no leaks, right? So now, we take it, we come like this, and you want it to be nice and sealed. Remember, we went meat side down, if I didn't say it, but you guys are looking at it, so you knew that already. So we bring this over the top like that. Fold this over a couple of times, just we don't want to lose none of our steam. We keep it like that, and I'm gonna set this, rock it back and forth, and set it there, and she ready, folks. Now we're gonna do the same thing. All right, so as you can see, no leaks. We got three slabs, right? I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna raise my temperature up. I'm at 275. I'm gonna go ahead and go to 295, right? You don't have to do that. Normally, I would leave it at the same temperature and just give it some time. But I'm pressed for time today, and I'm gonna show you the result come out just the same. This is how, like, what I call hurrying them up, right? So, put that up like that. Now we take these over here. Now we just put these in here just like that. Meat side down. I'm gonna set a timer for about an hour. That's gonna be right for where we at. And then we'll check it. I'm gonna show you how you can check that. Okay, folks, listen, it's been about an hour and 15 minutes, right? So now what you wanna do is, I use my meat thermometer because it has this probe right here on the end, right? With a point. I go ahead and stab through. So let's take a look. This is what I do. Right, so if I take this and I just put this in here, I just hit a bone. It's how the resistance is. You know what I mean? Not a bone, a bone, ah. Now we're starting to move through here like butter. Right, let me see. That just hit a little bone, let me see, ah, yeah. Look, that right there, no resistance. You know what I mean? Ah, yeah. I don't wanna poke all the way through because I don't wanna lose nothing on the bottom end, right? So it's really up to you how soft you want these to be. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. These right here are ready. And I see I just poked all the way through. You can see where it's bubbling right there and doing all of that. Look, it's running off. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna go ahead and close this. I'm gonna get ready. All right, so I just opened this one up. I just want to show you what they look like. Oh yeah. Nice. Look at that right there. You see how I started to like pull? When you move them and rotate them, they'll kind of like pull evenly. So the way I had them faced, they like pull in that way. When you reverse them and turn them, then you'll get pulled back that way, right? So all I'm doing is taking them out. I'm gonna stick them back inside just for a hot second. You know what I mean? Just to get them to dry just a little bit. And I wanted to show you guys, I always make them with barbecue sauce, being honest with you, you know what I mean? So you guys can, uh, go back and reference any of my other videos that's the way i do like mine but look if you look right here look how this has been steaming look at that you see that right there that's all that butter brown sugar all of that goodness right so if i take them like this you can see just you see that Ooh -wee. Got it. After taking pictures of it, we want to taste a couple of pieces, a couple of ribs. These right here is fire. But you can see, clean, look at the bone. The rub, I can taste the rub throughout the meat. Gives it that little bit of, that brown sugar gave it a little bit of a sweet crust on the top. So this is the way you want to do it. You want to serve it to your people like this. If they want barbecue sauce, just give it to them in like a little cup. And they can just add it to theirs. But you know what I mean? When you got real barbecue, do it like this. And this will be fire, folks. Mm. 
Hey, never ceases to amaze me. Listen, follow this guy. Let me know. Come back. Talk to me down in the comment section below. Now, some of you guys, I got to say this. Like, even when we do ribs, you know, they talk about it was so far off the bone. If you put it inside of there and you, you know, you smoke it under that low heat, you know, for a little longer, so it'll right extremely bend, that's okay. But you guys got to remember there's a fine line between super soft, you know, ribs and mushy meat. And I got it. Everybody want it super, super soft. I just showed you how to do it. Just go ahead and take four hours. You know what I mean? If you want to, take five hours. You know what I mean? Uh, but I would say check my meat. I would say check your meat, like uh, your ribs, every every hour to after the three hours. You know, just to make sure that they not just super fall off the bone. You know what I mean? And then when you add the, you put them in there with the butter. I ain't gonna lie to you. You started smelling like we were doing some bacon in here. But listen, that sweet and savory, that right there does it. Now. I'll put some links in these i cards above me right up here so you guys can see. You know what I mean? I got other videos to show you how to do it when you put the barbecue sauce on it, all of that, how to set it and do that. So, if you guys got any questions, talk to me down in the comment section below. Now, if you're new to my channel, let me take this time to say thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and tell everybody out there there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And guess what, folks? Somebody about to take these ribs home with them right now. I'm out.